Hey guys, I'm Ellie, I'm a first year PBS student and welcome to Rosebury Hall. With about 300 students, Rosebury Hall is the second biggest undergraduate only hall at LSE, although master students are also allowed to move in if the rooms aren't fully booked by the summer. All the students are divided into two wings. First of all, we have Rosebury Wing. There are nine floors with about 20 students sharing a kitchen and their rooms are newly furbished. Then, if you go to the back, you arrive at Middleton Wing, where the facilities seem to be slightly older, but therefore the rooms are a little bit bigger and you share facilities with fewer people. This is a typical Middleton Wing room. We have carpet floors, a lot of storage space and big windows. Here in Middleton, we share a kitchen with about 12 people and then one bathroom and shower room with about three other students, although this doesn't really apply this year because the hall isn't as full due to the pandemic. I really love the fact that our shower room is pink and I definitely recommend bringing a bathrobe and flip-flops too. And here you can see a typical toilet. Also, there's a vacuum available on almost every floor here, so there's no need to bring one. Now I'm going to show you our kitchen, which was very sunny on the day I was filming, and through the windows here you kind of have an overview of what's going on downstairs, which is pretty cool. So our kitchen has a microwave, a stove, a water cooker, a toaster, but no dishwasher, and actually there's a lot of space in our fridge and in the freezer. Everyone also has the chance of storing their dishes in a cupboard, so there's no need to bring them to your room. The kitchen and bathrooms also get cleaned daily, but you definitely have to wash your dishes yourself. Alright, now I'm going to show you something really exciting. Middleton Wing actually has a super nice terrace that can obviously be used by everyone in the hall. Um, and from here, I'm going to show you the different wings again. So this is Rosebury Wing, and then here, this U-shape is Middleton Wing, and then in the middle of the complex is the Warden's House. So now we're going to take the elevator downstairs to the other common areas and something funny about the elevator here is that when you arrive to the floor you want it to go to, it still can take quite a bit for the doors to open, which is pretty funny when you say goodbye to someone but you have to awkwardly wait there for what feels like 10 seconds for the doors to open. All right, now we're walking towards the exit of the hall and also towards the common room, which is the white building on the left. Unfortunately, it's currently closed, but I'm sure that we're going to have a lot of parties there in the future. Um, there's a pool table, table tennis, a bar, a couch, and there's also a staircase down to the cafeteria. Now we're walking over the bridge towards the main part of the building, Rosebury Wing, and you can see the garden that I really appreciate. Let's go downstairs into the most important part of a catered hall, the cafeteria. The food here is really amazing and the people are very friendly, but I'm planning on doing a separate video for that. But as a short preview, there's a daily meat, fish, vegan and veggie option, and usually also halal and kosher, um, which you can sign up before you move in. Currently, we have to sit two meters away from each other and dining times are set so that only households eat together. Also, a catered means that we have dinner every night of the week except for on Saturday, um, where we have brunch. This is our computer room, which is really nice and also has a printer. And there's also a TV room that's unfortunately currently closed at the moment. In the basement area, you can also go out to the garden, which I think looks so nice in the middle of Rosebury. Obviously, we also have a laundry room, which is operated by a separate company. Washing is like 280 pounds and drying is 180, and it's quite expensive, but what can you do? <laughs> Alright, now just some quick facts at the end. It takes about 19 minutes to reach campus via bus, which is like 10 minutes on the bus and then the rest walking. Or you can obviously also walk the whole way, which takes anywhere between 25 and 40 minutes, but I would calculate like 30 minutes the least just to be sure. Um, the walk is really nice and easy, but sometimes it's also quite a relief to be able to hop on the bus and be home quicker. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!